Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So we're here today with Black Sales, episode number two, Reaction. Now this um, took me a while. I wanted to get to episode two a lot earlier. Um, I wanted to like do episode one and episode two, episode three, like at least three episodes in a row just so I get acquainted with the characters and the story. But uh, I wanted to get the roles down um, for the characters. So, I, I went for, I went back for episode one, and I will be going back for episode one once I start editing it as well, of course, you know, that's why generally I go, when, some, when people say I've missed something, once I start editing something, I generally, you know, see it. Um, but I want, I definitely wanted to get the, the roles down more than anything. The names to me weren't as important, because the names I go, I'm going to get eventually, but I'm not sure if they're going to mention the roles again. So I went through the episode, and I just want to like quickly recap what happened um, in the first episode. Now, I know people in the past have said that I recap too long. Um, there will be a, a, a t thing, you know, the, the YouTube has new, nowadays a new marker, so if you want to skip my recap of the last episode, you can't do so and head right into the reaction. Um, it should be clear on the video itself, at the bottom of the video itself. So, we met Captain uh, Flint. Captain Flint. Now, um... I'm assuming he's the main character. He's the one that we spent the most focus on. Uh, he also, at the end of the day, killed Singleton, which was the end of the episode, where he basically just, like, one on one him, um, punched him, knocked him out, and then ultimately killed him, just to look, first of all, to look strong in front of his crew, but also to, uh, to, um not be voted out of captaincy so that was actually very nice the way he handled i was thinking how is he going to get out of this what is his best way and you know what he used a bad situation and a gamble and used that to his advantage which was actually a fantastic um but there is a captain that is uh pulling strings from the darkness and that is captain vain uh, captain vain he's quite vain i have to say um, yeah, we, we don't know too much about him just yet, just that he has a, uh, relationship with Miss Gut Miss Guthrie, um, a past with her, but, like, beyond that, we don't really know much about him, um, and besides the fact that, you know, he is what seemed like the second best, uh, pirate on the island, or maybe the best pirate, uh, you know, at the moment he's the best pirate, of course, but that's because Captain Flint is going after the Laruka, La 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 I, mean, I want to say it the way he said it, because I don't know what, what the way I would pronounce it is uh, wrong, Grant, who cares about pronunciations, I don't, um, but he's going after the La Urca de Lima, um, just looking at that drink, it's frozen, <laughs> and I'm like, it, it, it's starting to like spill a little bit off my desk, and it's just so cold, um, but he's going after, uh, Captain Flint is going after the La, Urca de, the La Urca de Lima, and he got a loan from, uh, Miss Guffrey, um, who, by the way, is the daughter of Richard Guffrey, who was shot. Now, he has survived, he has survived, but he was shot. Um, he's essentially the big bad boss of the village. Without him, you're not selling anything without him. You're not making any trade. So basically, he is the person you don't want to piss off. And he got shot. <laughs> Did I mention? He got shot. Um, so, okay. So, okay. Um, what else? Who else do we have? We've got... And these were, the, these were the roles that I really wanted to get down. That's actually the reason why I... I didn't really rewatch re episode one. But I went through, like, trying to find a specific place where it was. And it took me ages to find the, for Billy. Um, but we got Mr. Gates who is the Quartermaster. I had to look at what a Quartermaster does, because um, I actually thought, before I looked it up, that a Quartermaster essentially had the Bosun's role, and a Bosun had the Quartermaster's role, but once I looked it up, it was actually, no, I got those two mixed up. Now, Mr. Gates being the Quartermaster, uh, he his job is steering, signaling, and looking after supplies, which is what I thought Billy, who I whose role I couldn't find throughout the whole episode. I was like, where is his role? I know they mention it. I couldn't find it at all, but they mentioned it towards the latter half of the episode, of course. Um, but Billy is the bosun, who is essentially in charge of equipment. Um, that's essentially his role, being in charge of equipment. Um, and he is... I want to say directly under the quartermaster, under Mr. Gates. He is, yes, but he also isn't. He, he, there... Mr. Gates is uh, responsible for all of it as the quartermaster and does technically, you know, Billy is beneath him. But um, from what I read, at least, 
a bosun is essentially the person that will rise to quartermaster. So he's like the understudy, essentially, um, which, you know, makes him under him. I'm not trying to, like, deny that point that, you know, Billy is beneath Mr. Gates, but I'm trying to make the point that um, he's being groomed right now for the quartermaster role, which, you know, kind of makes him, it makes him equal in a way while being under him. It's a weird, it's a weird dynamic. But yeah, and then you had the boatswain, Randall, who was a former boatswain and is now a cook, is now cooking alongside uh, John, who has the schedule of the La Urca de Lima. Um, a boatswain, basically his job used to be that maintenance of a ship, but he got caught stealing and now he's a cook. That's all I wrote down, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wrote down. We'll see what episode two has in store for us, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as I always say, if you want to get early access as well as full length, you can do so over on Patreon.com. If not, let's get started with episode two. Haha. -ha. I'm also going to turn off the subtitles for this one because I've noticed myself um, that when I have subtitles on, I always look. I look at the subtitles more than the screen, so it always looks like I'm looking. It, my, my eyes always look like they're, they're shut essentially so it's very difficult to actually see my eyes and obviously for a reaction you kind of want to see my face my facial emotions what I'm feeling at the moment of an episode so I'm going to turn off the subtitles which is going to hurt me a lot I'm someone that watches everything with subtitles um, but oh well it doesn't matter ladies and gentlemen episode 2 let's hop right in let me just actually All right, it's working. One second. Oh yeah, she got decked in the face. Decked in the face. There is so much nudity. Hey, I'm all for it. I you, you ain't see me complaining about it, all right? But uh, the editing is gonna be a nightmare. Hopefully, there's no episode that's like full nudity, like 90 minutes of nudity. What is the accent? Spanish? Yes. Italian? Can you let Mistress Guthrie know she's needed? I'll be down in a minute. Like the English speaking Maybe accent. Perhaps you may be a little. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe Portuguese, I think. Nessa Portuguese would make sense. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to think of a way to censor this. <laughs> As in, like, sen- well, there are multiple ways to censor it, I could just not show it, I guess. Jesus. Yeah, he, do do? he's in it now, you can't- he's in this position- put into this position where now he can't back out. Because otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, he's in my... You can't just be like, oh, I'm sorry, lads. <laughs> lads, mates, forgive me, fam. <laughs> I can't just be like that. What? The cook. I thought he might be in the armory standing over a dead body. Said he was suicide. Did you search him? Nope. It's a cook. What a cook tea you possibly have. And they can't be like, yo, he's got the... He's, yeah, he's got the schedule. Because everyone's there like... We you have to schedule. They're a pickle right now. Careful, Just... unless you want everybody to know what he's got. Ex I mean, at this point, ooh, nah, you can't. You can't. Because then Billy would make himself. For those of you guys who have never jumped into the water, never ever jump like that onto your open stomach, all right? I did that when I was younger, when I was 10-ish, from a 10 meter board, jumped like that, I accidentally, you know, the momentum took me forward and I landed on my stomach. That was the worst, one of the worst pains I've ever experienced. Yeah, it's not that bad. You look pretty regardless. It's not that bad. I really like the, the set pieces. Like, like the clothing as well as the actual set pieces looks very nice. Granted, some of the haircut, there is no way that he would have had that kind of haircut. Remind me, how many leads have the Guthries brought us since you two had your falling out? Even Captain Vane can't escape his crew dicking him. I thought you were Vane. 
The word captain doesn't hold the same weight that I thought it would. What wrong? I can't wait to see how you mess this up. <laughs> that would be that, that. Oh, they are after him. Oh, they they went right after him. You can't escape them forever, though. So how are you gonna? I don't. I would just hide it. Uh, they would torture you. Cause he's on the hey, beach. Can you point me to the blacksmith? Point to the butcher in this way. I need a new shirt. Ah, oh, that's smart. Everyone's gonna give him a different direction if they ask. What? what? Anybody know where to cook with? Yeah. Well, that way. 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 Jesus. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable in there, you twats. Couple of foxes in your back on this beach. Bitch keeps you all to herself. And she pays for the privilege. Mm. All right. It's not fair. Pays for the privilege, eh? Oh, it's, not, it's not fair. Mate, you're already done. Apologies. Don't let me. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Certainly>. <laughs> Under the illusion that with Flint gone, I have no other choice than to give you what you want. Oh. Well, you think because you and I used to fuck, you can trust me without any consequences. I'm not sure which of the two is more stupid. My goodness! <laughs> My goodness! Be careful, Eleanor. She is a power player. My goodness! The way she walked out there as well to be like, yeah, finished. Finished. Son Be careful. You made it. We are more pressing issues than it's going to. <laughs> Captain Vane was just leaving. Ca Mr. Charles. Uh, Charles. Mr. Charles Wayne is like. Singleton! What happened? What happened? I, first I get. First I got grabbed by the balls by her. Now. Captain on that ship. Where is Singleton? Dead, bruv. This is an abomination. To suggest that the value of one has any bearing on the other simply strains the very bounds of reason. <laughs> oh, do you know what comes to mind? Fruit, fruit. fruit. yeah. <laughs> tits, tits. Yes, my friend. I love this town. The the fake in its intent to become real is realer than the real. We can't thieve forever. This guy's got arms like a. Like wants to become. We need a king. Yeah, he wants to become king. King Flint, not King Henry, King Edward. We need something. Five million <coughs> pieces. Is a good place to stop. Because if I'm this cook and I want to sell the schedule and leave this place a rich man, you I need a, two things. And a freezer. I need a boat and I need a method of payment. Method of payment? To make sure it's valuable. Gold is too heavy. Attracts too much attention. So I need a bill of exchange. I would never have thought of that. Vader's probably thinking like, no, 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 no. That's way too much money. Yeah, they're like, oh no. Vane is in on that. Tell me the truth. The page is gone. No. No. Do you have a, a, a candlestick or a, a candlestick? That'll do. Just give me any machete, I guess. I mean, she is a whore. Don't fucking lie to me. So it makes sense that she's a weapon. Flint is. What? Jesus. All right, listen to her. What? Ah! You should have heard. You should have heard that. Now two crews are looking for him. Now two crews are looking for him. If he's wrong about this, he'll answer to our crew. If you're lying, you'll answer to me. Woo! But to the goodness! 
<laughs> My jolly goodness. He's gonna be like, I I I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm sorry, all right? Hey, hey, is the deal still on? Yeah, he looks... He looks too uns... Libertari, I think that's what it... That, the pirate island. Libertari. You have your doubts? Nobody mistakes that all for a shovel. For that would be the place that no man had ever been troubled by the sea. The money he can get from his prize, he can give this place a future, he can give us a future here. If the page isn't delivered to Vain, he will kill me. Yep. Great situation. Can you. Scott can protect you. You have to trust me. I, I don't think you can protect anyone from Vain. I don't know, this place is just sand. He cannot love you back. No, 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 no. No, no. Your father left you. Your mother was taken I'm trying from to play you. Mind games now too. Everyone you have ever loved, you have lost, and it terrifies you. I think she cares more about the. Not that, she, not that she cares more about the place, but. You bought them, you. I wouldn't. That's all I'm gonna say. I wouldn't. I get to that later at the end of the video. I'll write that down. You have to do is say yes. No. No, I wouldn't do it myself. Love is overrated. Not that it's a bad thing, but love is overrated. She's actually built something for herself. Come in. That, was that, and that right there is a choice being made. Man, every, this is like episode two. This feels like episode seven. Like, so much has happened. Get the fuck out. Episode two. And, and so much has happened. Things have changed like five times. Things have changed like five or six times in this short time frame. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. But like episode 10 will have a... a vein will probably be on flint side or something. Like we'll, we'll, the, the whole board will have been flipped or something. They themselves too good to wear a condom. Do they, do they? Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it goes back to ancient Egypt. Yeah, 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 okay. It goes back to ancient Egypt where the idea of condoms existed. Uh, well, protection more so. I think back then they used the banana peel. But obviously, they've, we've evolved since then, all right? All the leverage in this particular situation. No, we've got the pearl. We... And shout and stamp our feet, but that doesn't change the fact that unless we give this fellow the pearl... There is no... You think he's going to come out now after he sees this? Doesn't look like him. Nope. <laughs> nope. He said you can be the boss. <laughs> oh. Come on, you gotta kill the next person at this point. I would have I, I would have I'll be honest, I wouldn't have shot at him. What if you destroyed the, the schedule? I would have snuck up on him and then Headlocked him. Ah, oh, come on! You can't, you can't just end it like that. I mean, it's still going on the music. Mate, you think they're not gonna? You gotta make yourself look scruffy. Yeah, I'd be screwed. That's like reading this. All right. My handwriting is terrible. Terrible. And that right there is even worse. Is he trying to memorize it? Oh, flip that. He's trying to memor- Oh, flip that. It's actually a- g No, actually it's a great way- ah. Don't tell me that guy's dying. No, okay, fell into the water. But that guy was scary. That, that guy, I, I got a front. That guy, I got a. Oh, the pearl, the 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 pearls are gone. The oh. No, 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 no. 
How unfortunate! So I took drastic measures. How you gonna memorize all that? For the sake of my survival is up here. Ah, oh, flip that now. I would have been dead in that situation. I'm not. Re I'm, I'm not remembering all. My memory is good, but I'm not remembering all that. Like I can remember. Well, I'd have to. I'd have to be there for an hour, saying it over and over and over and over and over again. Vayne, Vayne's been screwed. Vayne and the screw bit. Charles Vayne and the screw have been. Have been and his crew have been screwed. He's look at him smirking to himself. He's like, I did it. <laughs> I'm alive. I survived this evening, which I shouldn't have survived. Yo, I would dive deep for all for all the pearls and try and see if I can find them. Okay. Is that his wife? Take off your boots. I'm assuming. All right, I'm assuming so. And that's the end, ladies and gentlemen. The end of episode two. There's a lot that happened. As I said, episode two, and it feels like a lot has already happened. At it. As I said, I feel like by the end of uh, by the end of like season one, Vane and Flint will like team up. And they're like, all right, you've got the schedule. Uh, well, you've got the person that is the, that has become the <laughs> from a scrap of paper to a person. You, you're the, you've got the person that has become the schedule. Um, so unless you want war, I'll join. I mean, they probably would want war rather than having Vane join. To be completely honest, but um, shoot, Vane has lost everything. Like straight up, Vane has lost everything. The trade for the schedule went so bad because Jack uh, fell off the cliff with all the pearls. That's gonna go over well, amazingly, swimmingly for his crew. I can't wait to see their positive reaction to that. They can be like, <gasps> all right, what did you say, Captain Vane? Come here again. But it, I, as I was saying during the episode as well, um, it does seem like Flint, you know, they did say in episode one that he is too soft for the crew and Singleton would have been that hard person, that tough person. Um, but I feel like Vane might also be too hard. Like, if he had just done the trade normally, um, he might have gotten the schedule and been on his way. But that didn't quite happen. Like, if he just gave the pearls to the people that uh, came there and they were, that were like, you give us the pearl, uh, I'll go back and then I'll get you the pager. Um, if, you know, if he would have just given them the pearls, he might have been at home right now chilling. But he didn't. <laughs> but he didn't. So now he's finding himself in this predicament. And I, it, it, it's not the worst predicament to be to, to find yourself in, I'll be honest. Because um, what he does know... Uh, well, two things. First of all, the woman that was um, that's on the ship, uh, the woman that used to be with Jack... I, I'm, I'm thinking that's his name. Otherwise, I heard it wrong. Like, But I think they said Jack. Um, so, the, so the woman that was with Jack that is on Captain Vane's ship, um, she is still keeping an eye, or she's still following Max, who is has obviously left, um, uh, who's obviously, well, I, I can't say she's leaving the island, but she is leaving. She, at least she's leaving the residency. I don't know if she's leaving. It seemed like she was leaving the island, yes, because she does have a boat, so I think that was her intention. She's definitely not going to make it. <laughs> she's definitely not going to make it. So Max has her. And if Max... Uh, sorry. They have Max. And if they question Max, like, like who are you working with? Like, tell us or else... We, you know, you've got nothing else to really lose. Um, tell us and... We'll let you live. We'll let you leave the island. Uh, at this point, she might be like, you know what? I, 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 I might as well tell you. <laughs> Flip the island. Uh, so I think she might actually, you know, be swayed, whereas previously she wouldn't have been because you know her and Eleanor, um, their relationship broke down, um, which I don't blame Eleanor for, and I, I want to touch upon that later um, as well. But uh, Max is off for, 
on, on her way off the island and um if she is caught which i fully expect to happen otherwise there was no point really showing that you know, she's being shadowed i guess if you want to call it that but like if he has her he has he still has a card left to play um now besides that he's lost everything besides that he's actually lost everything uh He knows that Flint is also engaged, involved with the situation. So, I wonder if he... We don't know too much about his crew, so I was going to say, I wonder if he would like decide to declare war against Flint just for the schedule, because he obviously still believes the, the schedule is a piece of paper. He doesn't know that the schedule has become a person. Um, I wouldn't have done that, by the way. I definitely wouldn't have done that, but I definitely wouldn't have done that, by the way. Um, I do not trust my memory uh, when it comes to things. He he was reading off a paper, like he a schedule with, with dates, times. Nah, screw that. I would not. No, I I definitely would. I'd have to write it. I don't have a smartphone. I'd have to write it down on my smartphone on my like notes app, and even then, like my notes app, I can't remember. Like I would have to make a song. I'd have to make a song and sing along, be like, ooh, ooh, at 2 a.m., the portal veil, Nasso, 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 3 p.m., yeah, 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 coordinates, coordinates, 2, 3, 5, 2, like, I'd have to make a song, otherwise there's no way I could remember it. I'd be like, um, I'd be like, okay. Coordinate three four eight three 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 two eight three two eight three 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 two eight three two eight three 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 two. I got it. I got it written down. Okay, let me burn the schedule. Whoop. Coordinate one two. Wait, no. It, what did it start with? Again? Like that would be me. Like a second I burn up. Like oh no. What, what did it start with again? <laughs> that would be. Me. I would. I would. You know what I would have done honestly if I was in his shoes. Um, and that's like. He, I mean, granted, he, they, don't, they don't know whether he's bluffing. They don't know whether he's bluffing. That's the key thing. They don't know whether he's bluffing. But I think what I would have done... That's, I don't actually know what I would have done. I was going to say, what I would have done is bury the schedule. And But if you tell them, like, I've buried the schedule, I, I, I've hidden the schedule, you're never going to find it. They would torture you until they found it. So that's not going to work. Um, what else could possibly work in the scenario? Let's see. Let me try and think what I what I could have done. Like what, what, what I'm thinking of right now, basically thinking of in the quick in the split seconds, uh, that he has to think of what to do. Um, if I was that one person, actually it wouldn't work. No, not with paper. It wouldn't work with paper. But you know that one person, the, regurg the regurgitator, um, that can like regurgitate, say, coins, and he's like, Arr. all right, so, which, like, he, he draws in like coins, like one, two, six or something, like, all right, which coin do you want to win coin number three? Okay. Arr. And like just gets coin number three out somehow. And, like, if I was that, if, if I was like that person, if I was capable of doing that, I would be like, okay, you know what? But then again, the paper would have, the paper just would have uh, um, been burned by the stomach acid. Like, like the, it wouldn't, it, first of all, it, yeah, it wouldn't have worked, honestly. It, it just wouldn't have worked. Um, so I'm trying to think, what could I do in that situation? And obviously, I can't regurgitate like that. So what could I have done in that situation? Maybe like, I would have probably like buried it and said, I burned it. I memorized it all. Now don't kill me. And then, like, the second um, I, I'm allowed to, like, have a little bit of breathing space, I would have gone back and tried to find it. Granted, if you if you bury it in a beach, somebody's going to find it, probably. You know, it's not going to be there forever. So, the, all the options are bad. All the options are bad. This, this is his best option. So, it, unfortunately, it is the, the option that you have to go with. Now... As well, I want to talk about the uh, the the choice that Eleanor was presented by Max. Because to me, it's important to talk about this. Um, now, she, through the help of her father, 
uh, through the help of Richard, um, was able to govern this place, essentially rule this place, make something for themselves. All right, they 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 essentially made something, made something for themselves. I would never give. I would never give that up for love. For love. I would never give that up. That would be me. I would never give that up. And the reason why I would never give that up is because if you've spent your life um, trying to build something, trying to, whether it's build your character, whether it's build your personality, whether it's build um, you know, something physical, whether it's uh, build a you know company, something uh, financial, I guess, um, that took time and effort. And uh, to me, that I value that significantly more than love. Um, love is important, but when, if I had to like describe it, I would much rather be in complete solitude if that meant that I could build something from the ground up that I can say I, you know, I, I made it. I, 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 I did this. I, you know, this was me. I did this. Like, I would much rather have something that I could call my own than uh, be a slave to love. Um, and so that's why I, I fully understand her decision. Like, that's why, you know, I was saying, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Just please don't do it. Because one of us goes through and we all go somewhere. I don't know how the song goes. But I, I, that, I definitely wouldn't have done it. I would have been like, no, that's not, that's not happening. But again, I'm not an emotional person. I'm more of a rational person. Um, when I'm gonna say I'm not an emotional person, I mean more so in like the terms of love, not really much of an emotional person. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I love you. I would most likely take a bullet for you, but I'm not giving up what I've worked my whole life for. Um, and that's a, that's a weird way to look at it. Yeah, I would take a bullet for you, <laughs> but I wouldn't give up this place that I built. That's not that's not happening. I'm not. That, that just wouldn't happen. <coughs> but that's because I value the project, the hours, the time, <coughs> <coughs> the hours, the time, the dedication, um, seeing the progress, seeing the development, seeing all that. I value that way more than anything you could ever offer me, than a anything that you could ever offer me. So. Yeah, that, that's the way I see it. That's the way I straight up see it, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm actually glad you went through with that choice. Now, Billy. Let's talk about Billy. Let's talk about Billy. Uh, Billy was questioning his decision. He was questioning whether he did the right thing in last episode. I... I, I, I Mr. G Mr. Guthrie. Mr. Sorry, not Mr. G Guthrie. Mr. Gates was... Uh, Bill Gates was saying that, you know what, he did the right choice. You did, it, you did it for the crew, right? And the, the captain may be a <coughs> the captain may be a little haywire. He might be off his rockets, quite frankly, but he did the right choice. You didn't do it for the captain, you did it for the crew. I know the captain wants to be king. Yeah, no. Yeah, 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 no. That's not happening. Straight. Hey, you know what? I just noticed. Mountain. Yeah, now you can't see it. Ice! <laughs> Looks like a mountain, in a way. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, like, th there wasn't such a big focus on them this episode, but there was still a focus on them this episode, which I appreciate. Um, I'm, I really wonder, like, what is... How is Vayne going to use uh, Vayne and his crew? When I want to talk Vayne, I mean his crew as well. How is he going to uh, use Max... Uh, Jack will probably face some re repercussions because you know he lost all the pearls, and um, what would you use Max for? I mean, the, the only thing you'd find out with Max is that uh, John had the schedule. Beyond that, like if you if you know he has a schedule, are you gonna you know try and attack Flint to get John? Again, this could lead to this could lead to a little conflict between two captains and maybe their crew, but I'm actually not sure. I'm actually not sure because I feel like if they wanted a conflict, they wouldn't need a reason. They just know that okay, Flint has the schedule now, uh, so let's go to war regardless. So 
I don't think you really need Max for that. So I feel like there's going there's going to be a different role for Max in this story. I feel like her role might be. Well, first of all, I, th I think Vane is going to take his anger out on her, which I'm not going to say justly, but like which would be the logical conclusion. She can't really get get him to the schedule, and essentially, he, uh, her and Jack caused her uh, caused him and his crew to lose all the pearls. So that's for starters. But I don't. Be honest, I actually don't know what, what her role in the story is. I'm like trying to think of like what could her role in the story be? Is she done for? Maybe Vane will use her as like a leverage against um, against Eleanor. When I say leverage, I mean more like a weak point. Does he? Yes, he did mention. Yeah, he did mention um, Eleanor in front of her. So. <clears throat> he knows that Eleanor and Max are close, so he might like use uh, Max, you know, to get back at Eleanor in some shape, way, or form. But like, beyond, I, I really don't know like what Max's role could be in the story beyond that. So I'm actually quite interested to see um, what you know what, what her story is going to be, or where where her where her story is going, where her route is going. Um, Jack, I think he's gonna be beat. Like, like, I think the next time we see him, Vane is gonna be like, "Oh, Jack, you lost the pearls," and like he's gonna do like a, 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 a Flint versus Singleton, like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that might be the case. Well, if if the crew doesn't get to him first, but yeah, beyond that, I don't know. Beyond that, I don't know where the story is heading. Um, and I, obviously at the end we saw Captain Flint and potentially his wife. Um, I mean, the woman was not young enough to be his daughter. Maybe his wife or his sister. Uh, could be both. Um, what we did know is she was playing half court, which is pretty quick. It's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I actually don't know what's next, ladies and gentlemen. So, we'll see, I guess, with episode 3. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all in episode 3. Until then... Have a nice day. Did I talk about everything I wanted to? Yes, I did. That was uh, Black Sales EP2. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott. We saw that one pirate as well, which kind of, I think, was just basically just there. I don't think he plays a, a bigger role. The one that uh, Mr. Scott and um, Elmer Miscuffery was talking about. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he actually plays a big role in the story. I think he was just there to show um, the strength of the name of Charles Vane. Um, that, that's my guess. Uh, and that we, we know that Vane is now a, a dangerous, a uh, threatening uh, character. But we already knew that at the end of the episode, when we saw how strong and how fearful, how fearsome... Captain Vane was that he is the opposite of Captain Flint. I think a mellow, uh, I think a middle ground between those two captains would actually make a very good captain. You know, someone that isn't too soft as they perceive Captain Flint to be, and someone that isn't too hard as I perceive Captain Vane to be. Uh, I think a middle ground would be fantastic. I don't know who that middle ground would be, but if those two crews were to team up, which again. I'm just saying, could happen uh, with the way the story, with the way how quickly the story is progressing. Um, maybe by, like the end of season one, we'll have those to team up and like, yeah, friends forever, future, <laughs> like friends forever. Um, I don't know where that's gonna happen though. I, I like, I, like, I, I can't see that. But like, if those two were to team up, they would probably say. I'm not gonna. Like, like Vane would probably say to Flint, "I'm not gonna work under you." Flint would probably say, "I'm not gonna work under you." And I feel like they would have to find someone that is like a best of both worlds, someone that's like mellow, um, soft, uh, as well as uh, hard when needs be, um, but is able to be flexible. And I don't know who that person would be. Um, that is that would be, make a good leader as well. I have no idea. Maybe Billy or Gates. Um, Billy hasn't shown like this. Ah, he actually has. I was gonna say he hasn't shown like this need to be hard, uh, but he has. Like, like he has. He has shown a tough side. Like the first thing he did when he saw John was shoot him. I would have like snuck up on him. Like I would have been like sneaky, 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 headlock. That is what I would have done. He was like, oh, like, like, like straight up. So 
he has actually shown necessary degree of toughness, but I don't know whether you know that really constitutes as a yeah. He doesn't have, he doesn't hasn't shown any leadership qualities besides um, you know getting John to work under Randall. Randall. Speaking of Randall, he mentioned you're a thief. Well, he, he said we don't like thieves here. Now again, I don't know whether he was implying that what he was implying. Um, the, the, it could be that he was just talking nonsense which you know they did kind of say he was doing in the first episode or it could be that he what he actually knew more than he should um which would be very interesting because obviously so far they're trying to keep it a secret as much as possible um but if it, if it doesn't turn out that way then they would be screwed quite frankly so i don't know ladies and gentlemen we'll see with episode three i will see you all in the next one everyone until then have a nice day and as i always say until next time peace out ladies and gentlemen and bye also, don't forget that you can get early access as well as full length on patreon.com slash MrXReacts. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye. Hey, everybody. If you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get early access, full length, as well as super early access. Anyway, regardless, besides that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a nice day.